How do you go guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2, and in today's video guys, we're back with more Lightfall goodiness, always with the Lightfall stuff guys, it's brand new, it's here, it's beautiful. What we are going to look at today though, is going to be, I can't say an old weapon, we've had it obviously, but it was meant to be a Lightfall-ish sort of weapon, and it's going to be the Quicksilver Storm, so you might already notice what I'm getting at. This thing with the catalyst becomes a strand weapon. Super, super dope. Obviously, there's not many strand weapons in the game right now. So it's already going to be super rare in that sense. But basically, if you do have this gun, now I got this because I obviously pre-ordered Lightfall. I don't know how you actually obtain it when you get in game. I think it might be obviously a campaign reward or something. But you can pick up a quest off Banshee that will, of course, have the Quicksilver Storm catalyst going for it. I love the way it's green and everything as well. But once you unlock the catalyst, you have to do a couple of like grenade kills and everything with it and melee kills, whatever. But once you do unlock the catalyst, you will basically turn the gun into a stasis weapon and also get nano entanglement. This weapon's damage type becomes strand. Final blows with grenades from this weapon create tangles. Now, if you don't know what tangles are, they're basically the big ass balls that spawn after you obviously kill a bunch of things that are infected or hit by strand and everything like that. And I'm going to quickly showcase what it's like now anyway in a real quick one. Obviously, just kind of get it right into it because obviously, a Serochi, I was obviously grinding this head to do my Catalyst because it's still the only way to do freaking Catalyst in the game. I think it's like 700 kills you got to get. But basically, you can see the green lasers are freaking strand, obviously, uh, firing from this weapon. It's the grenades prep, though, that makes a difference. Like, there's no increase in grenade damage or anything, but if I get a kill on a bunch of these, you will see it'll make this little entanglement, and then I can chuck another ball, and that's just a free-ass nade. So you basically get, like, I wouldn't say double the nades, but you basically get a big-ass nade. And one of the great things about entanglement is that currently, if you have strand, this is going to be heavy spoiler and curse, intensive, by the way, but currently with strand, you don't have all the aspects yet. you got to have this thing that just popped up there. you got to have a thing called strand meditations to buy aspects and obviously all the different sorts of things for obviously the strand web subclass and this basically it makes the entanglements which when you get kills with the entanglements basically it can spawn or has a chance of spawning that big ass tricky or those strand meditations which honestly is super dope because it means that it makes the farm a little bit more bearable now granted there is better ways to farm out for it and everything and i just died i just spawned another one though you've seen it there there is better ways to obviously farm out for it and everything, but honestly, this is a really unique way of doing it too. With a strand weapon as well, it's going to be fun to use. It's definitely going to be a reason to, of course, do this catalyst and everything. We're going to go into a strike and everything though with a, st a strand surge as well, just to kind of show the power of it. This gun could be super fun as well. I won't try PvP because technically, yes, you can, of course, make the entanglement PvP, but guys, the grenade launcher and PvP on this gun is Ah, so I'm not going to do it. So without further ado, let's go into some PvP with the Quicksilver Storm Catalyst. Alrighty, so we're going to be doing a Nightfall, of course, with our freaking strand-ass Quicksilver Storm. Now, this is going to, of course, be a stays or a strand surge. That's why I wanted to kind of do it to kind of showcase the damage you can do. But as I said, it's just the fact that you can kind of get the strand going together in tandem and get the things created. That's just super, super dope. Now, granted, it's got to have a little bit of a timer before you spawn another one of the strand balls because you can see, even with just one grenade, if I get the kill on this guy, you'll see it'll make a strand ball for my ass so I can just chuck at this guy. And it's just, it's a beautiful sort of combo you can kind of go for. I just love the green too, as I said. The green rocket as well. So the rocket is going to be a little bit strand too. I think it was, I think it's technically counted as arc, if I'm not mistaken. But now you can kind of see that it is going to be a strand rocket now and everything, which... As I said, is really dope. And the fact that you can just keep on spamming the freaking things. Oh, it's glorious. I love it so much. I would have much rather if I actually like spawned hatchlings or something like that. I know it's kind of like the warlocks type of thing, but I would have loved if it spawned hatchlings. It would have been super, super unique to the weapon or anything like that. I think that it's not bad, obviously, what it does now. And oh, you dead, bro. I don't have any piercing, Brody. Did you have piercing? Because I will honestly risk my life and revive you if you had the piercing on. Oh, go hatchlings, go. Oh, this guy had piercing. Okay, we got it. We got it. But yeah, I definitely would have liked if... um, I mean, the grenade does so much damage. Oh my god. But I definitely would have liked if it spawned like hatchings or something like that. Don't get me wrong. This isn't bad at all. Like, Anna can do work. But it's just the fact that the ball I can kind of spawn from my own melees and everything like that. The hatchlings, I kind of have to be on the subclass and everything. Which, obviously, is a, a bad thing. You can see all the freaking things, the elements going around. It would have been nice if it was that as well. It was the fragments. But... I think, generally speaking, um, it is still super nice. And it doesn't have to be... I don't have to be on strand to use this, by the way. I can be on, a, obviously, stasis subclass, solar sub, arc subclass, and have it spamming like that. So it's not just a case of I have to be on strand to get this working. And it means that you can run... Not strand subclass, but you can basically have a ton of extra sand dam or strand damage going in. 
with of course like a solar soul class stuff which honestly i think is really really dope in general but as i said it's just how cool the weapon looks i love the freaking green it's like laser match fmj or something from i don't know escape from tarkov or the green uh, green traces it's just so nice oh the green bullets it's so glorious the other thing I will say about the weapon is as well is that it's a, one of the only strong weapons you can actually currently get like in the game. So it's definitely going to have that going for it. But it's also the fact that it is spawning those entangle or those entanglements is really good when it comes to the aspects on strand. So as I said, you can use this without using the strand subclass, but it works really well with certain um, fragments. So there is a fragment, I'm pretty sure, that increases strength when you do damage or get a kill with entangled entanglement which of course means that in certain builds grenade and meleeing could become a really good big deal as i said it, you have to buy obviously all the fragments which of course i haven't got because you can only buy a certain amount at a time but there's definitely going to be reasons to obviously run the uh, this quick silver storm i think the spamming either entanglements or spamming for strength there is multiple reasons why this catalyst is going to be really dope in the right hands now granted i know it's taking your exotic slot so a lot of people might say nope to that but as I said, it just depends on what build crafting you're doing. And it's just, it's more fun as well. Like, as I said, not every weapon I have to use has to be an absolute freaking god tier weapon. Just absolutely destroying everything. So look at us be fun. And this is definitely going to be ticking those boxes now. Guys, who has the, who has the big ass freaking, uh, what's it called? The freaking uh, piercing. Anyone? There is other stuff you can do with it in terms of seasonal mods and everything as well. So if you actually look at the seasonal mods, there's one for destroying tangles with a strand weapon that actually makes it, um... Just suspend enemies, which honestly is super, super dope. Suspending is a really cool way of killing enemies and everything. And there will be bounties to support as well. So if I actually just showcase it right now, if I get a kill. And if I shoot this, it would have strong weapon. Oh, buddy, buddy. I need to reload. <laughs> Anyone want to come over here so I shoot this? Anyone? Come here, buddy. Buddy? Buddy? Oh, my God. Of course, the freaking soft move. But if I shoot this, of course, you will be able to... <laughs> There we go. You will be able to do that sort of thing to them as well, which honestly works out really, really well against freaking... Of course, you can see the champion there, or even just like normal run in the middle enemies. It is hard to kind of switch back because it does have to be a strong weapon to destroy it with, but you can't really destroy it with the grenade very well. So if I just try to get it going again and get a kill on this thing, and then reload, and if there was an enemy here, you can just destroy it. Or I can just destroy that one. But yeah, suspending enemies is a really cool feature in the game there with strand, and you've seen it like perfectly there with, of course, the champion. It's not just about spawning these meditations. Like, that suspend could save your life against freaking barriers. Imagine they're all grouped up against the barrier. You get the grenade kill like this. And, oh, wait. I'll get on this guy. Wait. Is that it? I need, the, I need all the ads to spawn around each other. Oh, my God. I'm going to freaking die. <laughs> ads just won't spawn together. What is this? But, yeah. If I actually kill this thing real quick. And then this thing comes over again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You can see you can suspend, which, as I said, is just really, really dope. And then you can do what you want to it, as I said. So, yeah, I definitely will say... Oh, my God, I got absolute blast. But I definitely will say that this Quicksilver Storm for uh, Catalyst, it's super, super dope. Itachi, we all know the rules. If you get res on top of another guy's dead body, you res the other guy. Come on, bro. Come on. But, yeah, it is like the ultimate tool to suspend. And we actually have someone using Div. What a hero. <laughs> but the ultimate tool, of course, to freaking suspend enemies will be the freaking cat this catalyst on the, obviously, the um, Quicksilver Storm. I think it's just such a dope-ass weapon, as I said. I would rather if you could actually cancel this somewhat away, but it's beautiful. The gun is just really, really beautiful. Well, that is it for me and, of course, the Quicksilver Storm with, of course, its catalyst as well. As you can see, it's freaking dope. The whole thing with the catalyst, it turns into a different sort of beast. I know catalysts, generally speaking, are changing guns a lot. But this one definitely completely changes in how it can work. And of course, with the different mods you can get going with it, as I said, mainly seasonal. Of course, there is aspects. So I'll show you the aspect I was talking about, the one with strength. So, well, defeating suspended targets grants class ability energy. You can get that kind of going with the seasonal mods this season. But damaging targets with a tangle grants melee energy. Now you lose 10 strength. And as I said, when it comes to the seasonal mods, there's a couple. So there's the untangler, which is the one I was using to suspend targets. And then there's also threaded blast. So destroying a tangle with a strand weapon creates a larger and more damaging explosion that's gonna be dope too and also there will be the alloyed unraveling rapid final blows with the strand weapon grants your weapon unraveling rounds with a longer duration near allies it basically gives the gun like i know the austere streak is poison rounds it's sort of like that but that's what i'm saying overall it's just so good with the current mods it just blends so well in with strands as i said being able to spawn that entangle by itself it's nuts. It's honestly just nuts. So I will definitely say for the PvE guys, it was freaking dope. And the fact that you could actually get it going as well and suspend champions 
was nasty. This could be insanely good for that sort of giant. So suspending champions alone is one reason to run this in freaking GMs. With the sword, it obviously has disruption as well. But man, this season, it's going to be freaking nuts. But regardless, if you like the video, just like, and you want to see more content, subscribe. Have a fantastic day. And hopefully I'll see the next collective in the next one.